And now we talk of lesson five of Miracles of Mind. We'll have a recall of the first four days and then we proceed with this lesson five. Number one, your mind is like a garden. Number two, your mind can do incredible things. Number three, you have the power to control your thoughts and focus on positive, uplifting ideas. Number for now, your thoughts have direct impact on your actions and ultimately your life. And now we come to lesson number five. Set clear specific goals with clarity. Clarity is an acronym coined by me. So setting clear specific goals is essential to achieving success. If you want to achieve success in any area of life, it is essential you set clear and specific goals. Without clear goals, it is difficult to know what you are working towards and even harder to measure your progress along the way. So when setting goals, it is important to be as specific as possible. This means defining exactly what you want to achieve and setting measurable targets for your progress. For example, Rather than setting a vague goal of losing weight, set a specific goal of losing 10 pounds by the end of the month. This gives you a clear target to work towards and a way to measure your progress along the way. Setting clear specific goals also helps you to focus your energy and attention. When you have a clear idea of what you want to achieve, you can channel your efforts in a more focused way. This helps to increase your motivation and momentum and makes it more likely that you will achieve your goals. Of course, setting goals is just the first step to achieve success. You must also take action towards your goals on a consistent basis. This means breaking down your goals into smaller manageable tasks and taking regular steps towards achieving them. Moreover, what does clarity acronym stand for? Okay, the C stands for clear logical goals. L stands for, C stands for crystal clear goals. L stands for logical goals. A stands for accessible goals. You should be able to measure your goals. R is for reviewable and relevant goals. The goals should be relevant to your competencies, to your aptitude, to your interests, to your personality. And I is for integrated. Integrated with your ikigai. Ikigai is a French term, the sense of being. So the goals should be integrated with your passion, profession, purpose, and vocation. And why is the yielding success result? So when you put in hard work like this, you're bound to achieve success. So I'll meet you again tomorrow with the next lesson. Thank you.